Well, hello there, or should I say, hello again. And for today, big apology. Uh, I kind of got dehydrated in the middle of August. Or really at the beginning of August. And, uh, yeah, my life kind of shame spiraled after that. And uh, I no longer live in Florida. I'll be moving elsewhere pretty soon. And, um, yeah... That was fun. So, yeah, the, the reason why I kind of stepped away from doing the content was uh, try and get healthier, try to get back on my own two feet, make sure my brain wasn't totally fucked with while I was in the hospital because apparently I went delirious. And, um, yeah, so I just got to say I'm sorry again because uh, I know it's been a while and I know a bunch of other content creators have either gotten banned or have left since I... Uh, took a hiatus so now i'm back now i feel good we got the elections coming up so let's dive right into it so what do i think what do i think about the current situation in the united states of america well first off sleepy creepy joe is still a fake president and you can't you can't fucking hide from that youtube and uh we know we know why <laughs> and really man like I will probably end up voting for Donald Trump again, so I'm not going to do the same video twice. Uh, there doesn't seem to be another option. I was pretty gung-ho about the yay thing. I mean, the yay thing was awesome. Like, there is a alt-tech exclusive that I was going to do, or that I probably might do anyway, that I have saved. And uh, I might add a little bit more to it. But beyond that, man, like, yeah, the yay shit was so funny, and... It ruffled all the right feathers, and frankly, frankly, it was a good thing. <laughs> and, uh, man, and like Ice Cube is still going off right now, so all that kind of shit is uh, really bubbling off. I mean, I don't know what the fuck happened last year where there was an entirely cultural conscious wavelength of everyone finally understanding who the real enemy is and them being absolutely fucking mortified that people are onto their shit. Oh man, dude, that that is just funny. But yeah, even though he is an Israel first shill, even though he has not disavowed his own vaccine because it's my vaccine, I made it, and frankly, it's the best vaccine. Yeah, Trump's the only option, dude. I mean, the Ron DeSantis failure to launch presidential campaign is a fucking embarrassment. There is nothing funnier than watching him fucking squander his big opportunity. This is a huge moment in anyone's life when they run for president, and he is just fucking it up left, right, center. And frankly, the only other semi-viable candidate is... Robert F. Kennedy, although the one thing that I've heard that he is staunchly in support of is jailing climate skeptics, which is absolutely fucking out of the question, especially since if you were to go to some of those uh, anti-mask, anti-vaccine, anti-lockdown rallies that he was involved with, I bet you I could find some climate skeptics that were not myself, so again, like, who, who are you catering to with that kind of take? But he was apparently anti-gun for a really long time, and now he's, like, kind of uh, reverse course, we'll say. We'll be charitable about that. And, yeah, so for me, I think this is what um, it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to another Trump versus Biden. I think Robert Kennedy is going to get fucked over. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if he's not actually killed, like, his dad or his uncle then he is definitely going to be robbed like Bernie Sanders was because Bernie had a legitimate chance and they pulled every single string in the book for Hillary Clinton. Progressives know this. Most people on the right wing know this. The neoliberals are fucking putting their hands in their ears still going, la, 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 I'm not listening. That was my president. Donald Trump is not my president. To this day. So that that's really funny shit. And um yeah, what what else can we really talk about? Uh can, can we talk about how fucking boring John Doyle is lately? I mean, man oh man, like ever since the whole Nick Fuentes John Doyle feud, John Doyle has like 
his star power has immediately descended into shit. I mean, I don't know what the fuck happened with that guy, but it's frankly embarrassing. It's frankly stupid to watch him turn into another comic shill, and um, it's frankly disappointing. Yeah, like the guy could have been something. He could have been a contender. He could have been somebody. Wait, no, I got to do the brain though. Could have been a contender. He could have been somebody. <laughs> yeah, and uh, now he's a nobody. So. Wow, uh, yeah, way to fuck it up, and, uh, speaking of apparently fucking it up, Elijah Schaefer, dude, that, that was a funny saga with him and, uh, and the cheating, and now he's gone independent again, and he says more base things, so it's kind of mildly offensive rather than slightly now. You might want to, you know, rebrand <laughs> after a certain point, but, um, yeah, also... Alex Stein has become slightly disappointing with his uh, his con ink leanings and you know oh I like Nick Fuentes oh I don't like any Groypers oh this that the other like dude like if you're really down for not being with these like goofy fucking shills that don't really get anything done why are you working for Glenn Beck man like he destroyed the uh the You Are Here channel and essentially gave all those subs to Alex so that it would look like it was an already popular show and it's like that had to be the single scummiest fucking move I think I've ever seen online and frankly I don't, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with that show that show is like so whatever to me it should be way better but it really isn't I don't even know it's, yeah primetime Stein uh cause conspiracy castle with Alex Stein that was a fun interview show and like now he's just debasing himself for for cloud I guess yeah because that that that's really conservative their guy <sighs> anywho um yeah so expect from this channel I would say we're gonna get some fun content we're gonna get some fucking super serious content that I'm gonna make a lot of jokes at more than likely um I think the raw commentary is where I will be rocking for the most part as far as the channel updates concerned however if out of nowhere you see a really long video on this channel and you start seeing motion uh, please bear with the program because that would be the official kind of content that we're gonna put on this channel me and my production company <laughs> and uh, yeah so I think um, Good things are ahead for this channel, for sure. I mean, even if my life kind of fell apart after the last uh, year in review, or year up, year uh, yearly update on content creation, I'm uh, I'm a little more optimistic for the future than I was, let's say, uh, August last year. So hopefully we can get back to uh, some shit that has been sticking in my craw. I definitely did have a commentary that I wanted to do on the uh, the whole concept of uh, corporate campuses and how I think they are creating people that get like six figure salaries for essentially doing functionally nothing and um, yeah I think I still have a lot to say about the world and I think the world regardless of what happens this year next year is gonna be a fucking disaster zoo so, as long as I am breathing, I will be making content in some way, shape, or form. So, in conclusion to all of my haters, all of my enemies, all of the people who have doubted me, you better tread lightly because I'm back, and I'm back with a fucking New York groove.